So the minute that I found out that we were expecting, I knew this house was a mistake. We had great visions a year ago when we bought this house of getting it ready, but due to me being in New York, my husband busy with traveling, there is no possible way that we're gonna be ready to have a baby in this home. Everything she has a problem with, that can all be replaced. There's only four rooms in the whole house. We need a space for us, we need a space for our child, a space for family to come. According to Nathan, the kitchen was amazing 50 years ago, and maybe that is the truth, but it's not quite so amazing now. The brown wood, I just don't like, and that oven seriously could go in a museum. And you know they sell new cabinets and counters and appliances, right? That's not an overnight fix. You've had tight deadlines before. Sometimes you just gotta push through and get it done. So the guest bathroom is another thing in the house which I just don't like. I'm a self-proclaimed germaphobe. No matter how hard I clean, it still looks 1960s gross. I'm not married to the bathroom, I'm married to Ann. So if she wants that, that redone, let's redo it. Oh, oh, all right, all oh, right. I love it. Are you okay? Do you need a moment? I, I, I love it, I love it. It's a little sparse. I mean, it's almost like they don't even live here. Or maybe they're just <gasps> waiting for the right house. I love this. Listen, I just love this. This is very cool. But the real question is, what do you do with this kitchen? I personally think You're a designer for Pete's sake. It shouldn't take you five minutes to answer the question. I'm a very thoughtful designer. I'm falling asleep. <laughs> hey, check this out. There's the stairs going down to the basement. Oh, this is quite nice. That furnace over there looks about the age of the house, so I'm gonna say that's gonna need replacing. Would you stop trying to tell me what I need to do in this house? Why not? You talk about real estate all the time. Yeah, well, I know more about real estate than you do. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very unique house. I didn't say it's a unique And unique, unique house. location. I said it's a fabulous house. It's both. However, I think unique takes a back seat when you have a baby coming. You got it. it right? Does. I think what you need right now is something that is completely done, move in, ready, end of story. So that is exactly what we need. So what I need is a specific list in terms of what you want from me to get you out of here. We need a house that's move-in ready, minimum three bedrooms, three bathrooms, yep. including the master bath. We need an open and upgraded kitchen, living space. We want main floor laundry, two offices, spacious yard, and we want to stay close to downtown in a similar neighborhood. We love downtown. I love downtown, too. I've done an evaluation on your house, and the current value is 948,000. How's that sound? Fair. So what is the budget for the new house? $1.1 million. I think that's a good budget to get you what you want where you want it. I'm perfectly open to going back downtown. Condo would be a dream home. Low wow. maintenance, so easy. They're new, they're modern, they're ready to go. Why would we leave the yard when we have a child on the way? That makes no sense. Low oh, maintenance, yeah. less to deal yes. with. I'm with Nathan on this. I think that this house is extraordinary, but you tell me what you want. Okay. What is your list? You must have a list. I do have a list. Okay, so I've what is a, it? Yes. So first of all, a modern eat-in kitchen, an updated master bed and bath, update finishes of the main space, relocate the laundry, renovate the guest bathroom, and create two separate office spaces. But how much money do I have to spend? You have 150000 Yes! I Perfect. know I'm going to make this work, and I am going to marry what you want with the vibe of this house. And Hillary, you can do whatever you want, wherever you want in the space to make her stay. All right, well, that's exactly what I plan to do. And when I am done, you're gonna love it. So, okay. my plan is to pretty much take that entire wall, partition it off here. He'll come in, office number one, okay. office number two. The rest right here is the sunroom, which is still a good size. This 2,000 square foot condo couldn't be more conveniently located in the heart of downtown. Its move-in ready spaces include three bedrooms and three bathrooms, including a master bath not to mention a large open entertaining area and room for two offices. It's a lot of family-ready convenience in one space, but will it be enough to bring Nathan back to high-rise living? Back in the condo again. Yes, I love it. There's two people that are excited. <laughs> Did you not like living in the condo when you were in it? I'll give it a shot. All right. And your main floor powder, powder room. room. We're trying to rip wallpaper out of our place, and you brought us to a place with lots of wallpaper. The whole house is not covered in wallpaper. Fair enough. The main area, Ooh, the main this event. This is huge. Look at the space you've got here. Wow. A bar is nice. And if I'm going to spend time here, I'm going to need to be drinking. Oh, cut <laughs> me a break. 
His condo is listed at 975000 I think you hit it out of the park. It's ready to move in. How about you? I grew up with a yard. You grew up with a yard. It's just kind of what I thought I would have when I had my first child. So I think what makes the most sense is really for us to look at some more options. That'd be good. Hey, Hillary. Hey. hey there. What's going on in there? Well, you're about to find out what's going on in there. We're ready. Look at the difference. Whoa. Look at it. The floor is gone. Ah. Loving it. Yeah? A plus already. The carpet's out of here. You love contemporary. Yes. You love contemporary. Um, but we're in a house that is mid-century. It's nice to kind of bring the two things together as much as possible. All that does is narrow the pool of resources for me. You know it's going to be quite costly, but it makes it very specific to what we're trying to do here. Bring it into today, but definitely acknowledge and respect the architecture. Are we good? Perfect. I know that you're still very skeptical about this. Yes. So I thought I might be able to get you excited if I showed you a rendering of how this kitchen's going to look. OK. Are you ready? I'm very ready. Ooh. I love it. I like it. Well done. We're on board. It's our first visit, and I've got Anne going, yay! As demolition finishes in the bathroom, Hillary's team presses on, laying the new floor that is the first step to modernizing this mid-century masterpiece. Overhead, insulation is added. The original electrical is completely replaced, and the ceilings are enclosed. And as the future of the space begins to appear, right around the corner, David is convinced he's found a house that can hold the future of this family better than any other. We are where you want to be. At 2,800 square feet, this house has more than enough family-ready space with four bedrooms and four bathrooms, including a master bath. Providing the modern function are an open concept kitchen and family room combination, a bonus room, a main floor laundry room, and plenty of office space, all on a great lot inside their current neighborhood. A little more modern than the outside projects. It's very open. You know, a lot yep. of the older homes, more traditional homes are very closed off. You don't feel that here. That's right. And over here you have your formal living room area. You can't argue with too much space. I never do. The main event. Open floor plan. Wow. And gorgeous. It's easy to picture living and, and spending a lot of time in this yes. room. It's move in ready. And will work if and when your family expands anymore. You're making it tough, David. I'm going to give you that. You're making it tough. This is that great, is my David. job. What do you think this house is listed at? One million? What do you think? Maybe 1.1 million? This house is listed at 1.25 million. Ooh. I'd have to think long and hard before going over the budget like that. All right. Fortunately, we're moving on. When the realities of squeezing two offices into this house meant losing most of their large screened-in porch, Anne's cold feet resulted in Hillary feeling the heat. We're not doing it. Anne doesn't want it. That's what I came here to work on. It's just another example of why I think this particular house may not be the best for us. It's oh, such a I cool design. I wouldn't I go know. that far. Never more determined to win Anne over, Hillary's team pushes forward on their house-wide update. In the bathroom, the 60s fixtures have been replaced by their contemporary counterparts and tiling begins. While in the kitchen, new custom cabinetry starts to take shape. And while things are moving forward at home, David is attempting to do the same, showing house after house in an attempt to find the Nathan the home the with no downside. David did a fantastic job. He found what I consider the perfect house, so I have total faith that he can do it again, maybe with something that's a little more in our price range that would appeal to Nathan. Right next to the office, a full four-piece washroom. A little cookie cutter. But I just don't know that you really understand the style we're looking for. Guys. Yeah. Everybody. Yes, yeah, so. sir. I just had a call from Nathan. And he and Anne um, have now got a wonderful baby boy. All right. Yay. Which is fantastic. Right. That's yeah, great. it's lovely. Um, the problem with that is I promised him that when he walks through this door in three days, three? What? everything else will be done. Well, I have told him we can't do that guest bathroom. Okay? So that's gone. So it's all hands on deck. You guys concentrate on getting this kitchen finished. You guys, we're going to concentrate on that nursery. We're going to concentrate on getting all the furnishings in so that she feels whew, at home. As the clock winds down at home, Hillary knows she needs to do all she can to impress Anne. But so too must David, who has one more chance to impress Nathan, this time with Anne in the hospital, one-on-one. -on -one. 
Congratulations are in order. Thank you very much. All right, this is a nice looking house. It's a little way from town. But in terms of a vibe, doesn't this kind of feel sort of like yeah, you guys? I'll give you that, I like it. At 2,800 square feet, this house is move-in ready with four bedrooms and four bathrooms, including a master bath. Providing the modern function are an open concept kitchen and family room combination, a main floor laundry room, and plenty of office space, all on a huge lot located 15 minutes from the center of town. What do you think? I can tell I'm gonna like it. It's a little far, but I, I like it from here. And here you have the master bedroom. You're killing me with this. No carpet. Zero carpet. And the ensuite. Oh, it's big. The neighbors can still see a shower, so it doesn't solve that problem. No, they can't see a shower. I'm trying to find something, David. Well, that's, you gotta try harder than that. Look at this deck. It's the perfect place to spend time with your family. I mean, we could have some killer parties out here. What do you think this house costs? I'm gonna say 975. This house is listed at 795. This would be everything we would need. The house is amazing. I think Ann would love the house too. Yep. I think Ann would also have the same concerns I do about location. That's, okay. that's the issue. Think about it, talk about it, and uh, give me a shout. We'll do. With that house still top of their minds, and with their brand new baby at its grandparents' house, Ann and Nathan return to see their own house now that the much anticipated hey, renovations you know, are finally complete. I agree with that. You ready now? Ready. We're very ready. Here we go. Ready? Oh my gosh. I don't even know where to look first. The most important thing to the change here right now is your floors. No carpet, easy to clean. Yes. And this becomes your main sitting area with the gas fireplace blazing away. It's so, so cool. Oh yes, I love that. We never used this and I, no. I think we'll totally use it now. We never use most of that. Now, we'll talk about the kitchen. Oh, I love it. It's white, Whoa. clean, <laughs> and bright. This island is unbelievable. I know, this is great. There's way There's more storage here. now yeah. than we had before. Oh, oh, yes, oh, yes. I'm just, I'm blown away by the kitchen. Yeah, I love this kitchen. Go and take a look around the corner. I had to use that space somehow. OK. Oh, nice. Pantry. Oh, All my wow. stuff that you said I need to throw away can go in here. All my kitchen things. <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Big difference. Obviously, the carpet out makes an enormous difference. Enormous. Happy? Wow. Yes, I'm happy. Let's talk about the shower. It's a fancy shower. You, because of your um, uh -huh. fear of being seen naked by <laughs> anyone but Nathan, uh, you have glass where I don't know how anyone could see anything. This is your side. Again, you know, you've got a closet that really works. <laughs> I, I, I really love that you, you kept the original layout of the bathroom. That was so cool. You love it. I love it. I do. And I haven't seen you do anything but smell, which is great. All right, you called us and took us oh, by surprise. Oh, this is beautiful. I love it. So hold on to this warm and fuzzy feeling. OK. And uh, David's going to go and meet you in the main area of the house. Thank you, Hillary. Thank you, right. Hillary. The pre-renovation value of their home was $948,000. With a renovation budget of $150,000, the new estimated value of their home is $1,150,000. That increases the value of their house by $202,000. You guys talk about it and let us know when you're done. Will do. Decision made? Decision's made. Decision made. And are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? We are going to. Love it. <laughs> why? So, what do you mean, why? It was a difficult decision, <laughs> but Hillary, this is beautiful. You did a wonderful job, and we can definitely see ourselves living here with our sons. This so. is the house we always thought it could be. Yes. I'm so pleased. Enjoy your home. Thank, Thank you, you both. Enjoy your home. Right.